looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful that you decided to click on my video today. And as you see, we got quite the mess going. So I need to go ahead, get all these clothes put away, get the clutter picked up and taken care of. And then we're gonna deep dive into the nitty gritty and get this room clean. When I met you, we were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us But oh how we got burned Look at us now, we scream, we fight And no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line I thought I'd take this time to introduce myself real quick. Hi, I'm Tammy, mama of four, three girls and a boy. Our oldest is 16, that is Mia, and then Hayden is 15, Kendall is 12, and then our little guy is Freddie, and he is nine. We moved down to Florida about a year and a half ago now from Nebraska, so you'll definitely see me repping Nebraska here because we still love our football. Um, we just didn't really like the state anymore. <laughs> More so the weather than anything. But anyway, we did move down to Florida. We bought this little house and we have just been spending the past year and a half kind of just making it our own um, and just living the beautiful life here in Florida, the warm weather, you know, enjoying the ocean and all the things. But I do think, want to thank you for being here and clicking on my video. I am so grateful that you decided to click on my video. It literally means the absolute world to me. Um, we do a lot of different things around here. I do do a lot of motivational cleaning between uh, just instant motivation with a speed cleaning, deep cleaning motivation, spring cleaning, decluttering, organizing, kind of all in the little cleaning realm. I also love to share uh, decorating tips, decorating inspiration. I cannot wait. If you have been watching my past few videos, I am so excited for Christmas. Um, I know you OGs are probably getting tired of hearing that, but I am. I am so excited for Christmas. So. I hope you guys will hit the red subscribe button and stick around through the holidays at the very least and enjoy all the content coming your way. I also like to do a little bit of shopping, so I will take you guys with me, um, share new decor, new finds, uh, all the things. So I'm kind of like your best friend with all the little tips and tricks and I don't have a problem um, showing you things to buy money <laughs> or to spend your money on. So. I also love to share great deals with you guys, especially when it comes to groceries, because I know that we are all out here struggling, you guys. It is hard <laughs> right now with grocery prices, but anyway, I just love sharing um, little tidbits of my life here and there and, you know, motivating you guys because me providing this content, this motivating content for you guys also helps motivate me to get my butt moving and get things going. So I hope you guys will choose to stick around and enjoy what I have for you guys. But also I just want to jump in and note this, look at all that dust off of this fan. Oh my goodness. You know, so we live here in Florida. The fans pretty much run 24 seven. So we did have a little bit of cool of a cool down and I shut the fan off the other day. Uh, in the dining room and I was like, oh my holy macaroni, I need to clean these fans. So I'm making note of it and every, each and every room is going to get the ceiling fan clean because it is gross. As you see, there was a lot of dust. Um, that's why I didn't take the bedding off yet because we will be doing that, but I wanted uh, the majority of the dust to fall on the blankets and not on the mattress, so. Anyway, I did just use a Swiffer and then I'm going to go through and do like a deeper clean with a rag, which 
Y'all are gonna wanna see this. It is so gross what still came off of this fan blade and fan in general, because I cleaned the lights too, because don't forget those, even on the inside around the bulbs. So um, after we get done cleaning this bedroom, we're gonna head into the bathroom. I have a new product that I am excited to share with you guys. So, well, let me say that more or less we're gonna test it out together. It has gone viral on TikTok, and so I caved and bought it and I, I really just want to share it with you guys so I hope you guys will stick around to the end of this video The weather has been absolutely beautiful here, so you might notice that my windows are open. It oh, it has been just glorious in the mid 70s, mid to upper 70s, and just a beautiful slight breeze. No humidity. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you have never been to Florida, this is the time to visit because the humidity is down. It is not crazy. So the weather has just been absolutely beautiful. I told my husband uh, when he got home this night or after I was cleaning, I was like, I feel like I'm doing spring cleaning because it feels like springtime outside and it feels so amazing. I absolutely love just being able to open uh, the windows and get all those germs, you know, that have been, you know, like in up, up in the northern part of the U.S. and the Midwest, stuff like that, uh, where it snows and you open in the spring comes and it starts to warm up and you open the uh, windows and, you know, just to get all those germs and everything else that have just been locked up in your house all night or all night. <laughs> all winter so it's kind of like the same here so our houses are basically kind of locked up all all summer long for quite a while actually i think probably like march maybe february even um you know and so it just feels so good to get the windows open to get fresh air blowing through the house just to clean out anything and everything that has been locked up in here with us so i i just absolutely love the fresh air do you guys open the windows where you guys are at um i know my poor husband suffers from allergies and anytime i would open them back home in nebraska <laughs> he poor guy he his nose would be all stuffed and He'd be sneezing and yeah, it would be a whole thing. So I always felt really bad, but he doesn't seem to have those allergies here. Um, it seems to be going a lot better for him. So anyway, also I wanted to go ahead and um, clean off these blinds. I noticed the other day when I did open the window that the blinds were gross. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to go ahead and clean them off. I did just use my pledge spray, the, the dusting spray. To clean them off um like i just showed you isn't that gross that was from one half of the back side <laughs> wait you're gonna see here in a second i'm gonna show you the other portion of it see so gross i will say though i do flip the blinds and do the other side and it isn't near as bad um but it's just so crazy how like dirty blinds get i honestly though i really hate blinds and i would love to replace these um, they are broken too from when we, even from before we moved in, but we're living with them for now. It's, it's fine. Blinds are kind of expensive, um, especially for bigger windows like this. So we're just going to work through it and make it work. Um, but yeah, I just decided that it needed to be cleaned and you'll see me here in a second. I do kind of open the curtain a little bit. Um, and I was going to clean the window seal. But then I noticed that the screen is pushed out and I'm like, oh, this is not a good idea. We're just going to go ahead and put the blinds back down because my worry um, 
where we live in a ranch and so I got worried. I'm like, okay, you know, the screen's kind of popping out. We're going to put the blinds back down because I don't need like a snake or a lizard to come up through there. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. I did tie up the curtains because I'm going to do a deep clean or a carpet shampoo on the rug. Um, anytime, so tip from Tammy, anytime I go to shampoo my rugs, I always do a quick vacuum and a slow vacuum. So basically what that is, is taking the vacuum cleaner and just going real slow over the area that you are about to shampoo. Honestly, it even helps, excuse me, it even helps doing that even on a weekly basis, if anything. If you, so here's my thing. I didn't believe it. I, I actually heard about it um, from another YouTuber and I cannot think of her name at the moment. She, her name is Amanda, but I cannot think of the name of her channel at the moment. But anyway, I absolutely love her. She is great. I will try to remember. If I remember, um, I will try to leave her name on the screen or her channel name. But anyway... So she is a big promoter of the slow vacuuming and I'm just like, yeah, okay, that's a little weird. I don't understand how it's getting any more out, but to test it, vacuum first, like you normally would, and then go back and do a very slow vacuum. I promise you will notice a difference. You will suck up more, more like dirt, hair, whatever comes out of the carpet and you will be amazed. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down So I thought, I always love sharing these dumps. It looks, oh, it's so gross. And all the cat hair that gets built up into it. I'm sure it's more than cat hair because I shed like crazy do. But it, the dumps are just so satisfying to share that. Because sometimes it can kind of look like, I, I like to show the dumps. I like to show the dirty rags and stuff like that. Because sometimes on camera, it looks almost like you're cleaning a clean house or a clean floor or, or whatever. You know, sometimes it's hard to really capture the dust and the dirt and all that. Um, so just showing the rag and then also the dumps of these water um, from the shampooer is just... It's just satisfying. <laughs> I don't know. What what is this? What is this adult life where we think dirty water and that is satisfying? But I don't know. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. I absolutely love the shampooer. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video. It's a few years old. I know a lot of I get a lot of subscribers from that video um that maybe you haven't seen my other videos since we moved. So this is a new Hoover shampooer. I absolutely love this one. It is much smaller than the one I did the review on a few years ago. I would highly, highly recommend if you have a whole house to do the other Hoover that is in my other video. But we have just a little house. Really the only carpet we have um, are like three rugs in the entire house, big rugs. We have little rugs like the bathroom one here, but um, as far as a lot of carpet goes, realistically, the only big one, we have the one here in the bedroom, we have one in the living room, and then we have kind of a little-ish medium-sized one in the kitchen. Um, so I didn't need a big, huge shampooer. I bought a little handheld Hoover one. Um, I highly recommend Hoover. When it comes to shampooers, Hoover knows what they are doing. So if you are in the market for a shampooer, definitely check out Hoover. But anyway, I absolutely love this shampooer. I do have it linked to my Amazon shop. Um, if you guys are ever interested in anything, definitely check there first. Um, if you can't find it, leave me a comment. I will find you a link if I can. But anyway, this shampooer is amazing. I absolutely love it. It works so well. And if you just have little carpets or just little rugs throughout your home, this guy works perfectly. So anyway, guys, obviously it is time to move on to the bathroom. I need to go ahead and do some deep cleaning in here. A big one I'm gonna do in here today is cleaning the shower. Um, I'm embarrassed to say how long it's been since the last time I cleaned my shower. 
Um, honestly, it's been long enough that I don't even have an exact date for you. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna clean her up and get her scrubbed down. I will say, whenever I take a shower or whenever my husband takes a shower, we always, always, always spray down the shower after we get out. That is a very important step, um, purely because it helps wash down all those extra soap suds, all the yuckiness that, you know, you're washing off your body. It helps to wash all that off or rinse all that down. And then, um, I feel like the shower doesn't get as dirty as quick when you do it that way. So anyway, I do want to go ahead and make the bed first and then we will move back into the bathroom. I feel like I'm kind of behind in the times. Uh, we recently switched from like Tide liquid to Tide pods. Uh, don't eat them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we uh, we have switched. We made the switch over to Tide pods, and I actually bought the hygienic clean ones. You guys, holy macaroni! It is a huge game changer. I absolutely love these hygienic pods. They not. I mean. We don't use anything else. There's no downy, no downy centipedes, no nothing um, other than a um, dryer sheet in the dryer, which I'm going to stop using those too. I just wanted to use up what I had instead of wasting the money on them. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, so we have nothing extra, you know, making the clothes smell good. And they just leave our clothes smelling amazing. I absolutely love them. If you haven't tried them yet, definitely give them a try, especially if you are a fan of pods. I I don't know. I, we've used Tide, the liquid Tide, for years and years and years because it was, used to be the only HE and then or the high efficiency. And then now, like, everybody has high efficiency now. But anyway, we finally made the switch. And I absolutely love it. I I don't know. They're a little bit more expensive for sure. I do pick them up at our BJ's wholesale store. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get them at Sam's, you know, or maybe even Costco. I don't have a Costco membership. Otherwise, I would check out for you guys. Uh, but yeah, so I absolutely love them. Definitely give them a check. Uh, give them a look if you are in the market for maybe a new thing, <laughs> a new uh, uh, detergent. That's what I'm looking for. But I got also, I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys don't mind me rambling. I ramble a lot, um, especially in these past couple of videos. And I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, I guess it's just like a product of being a stay at home mom. I don't know. Like chatting with you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, especially because I don't get a lot of adult interaction. So y'all going to hear me ramble because my husband is at work or if my dad's busy. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's okay though. I love talking to you guys and sharing, sharing just, you know, a random tidbit of daily happenings around here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, like I said, and finish up this bedroom. It feels so good to have nice, clean, crisp sheets. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the bathroom here. I am taking down the shower curtain. I do want to give that a good wash, but I also wanted to replace the liner Initially, when I bought this liner, um, we actually bought it when we first moved here, or I bought it when we first moved to this house, and I didn't realize that there was two different types of liners. There's, like, shower stall, or there's, like, a full shower curtain, um, and I bought the wrong one. So, this one has been probably about two foot short the entire time that we've lived here, and I just never, ever changed it. Well, today, I finally changed it. So, I'm super excited about that and get that one out of here. I usually change my liners probably once a year or so, just because they get so much buildup on them. Um, we do have super hard water here in Florida, 
And yeah, so it's just much easier just to throw them away, change them out. They're super cheap. I think I paid like five bucks or something like that. And honestly, it works. It lasts. I'm grateful for it. Um, also, I want to note that yes, I'm covering my face. This is the first time I've ever used this Zep cleaner. Zep is amazing. I absolutely love their cleaners. But that one, that one stinks. I I couldn't handle it, so I covered my face with my shirt. It was bad. <laughs> but it did the job. It did what I needed it to. I needed to get the grout, the grout cleaned. There was some mold, a little bit of mold buildup. Um some of that orangey buildup, you know, before you get the mold, th that needed to be cleaned out too. But anyway, going on to this uh, spin brush, these things have gone crazy viral and I see them everywhere. I will say initially I saw it on Living with Cambria. She had one and I had wanted one since I saw her have it. But the one I think she had was like 70 or $80 and I just could not, I just, I couldn't get myself to spend that much. Um, but I've been watching TikTok and then Prime Days came along and I came across this one. I think it was like $35. I do have it linked again in my Amazon storefront if you are interested in it. But I'll be honest, I don't think they're worth the hype. Um, they're nice, especially if you have like a lot of uh, carpal tunnel or arthritis. You know, um, I definitely think it would be good for people like that. But I, I don't know. It... It just wasn't that, it, I, I honestly, I think it's a personal preference, but I would prefer just to, um, I have like a Clorox wand scrubber that I picked up at Target years ago, which I actually need to replace because it's pretty much rusted through, but that I love so much more than this. But anyway, you just plug it in, it charges. It did say to charge for like three and a half, four hours um, on a regular charge, but it really didn't take that long to get a charge to it. So I, while I was charging though, I just wanted to go through and give the rest of the bathroom just a quick wipe down. I did a lot of bad things and never did I give in just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. I should clarify too on the Zep cleaner. It's not that it has like a stinky smell, like a um, stinky, like a skunk or, you know, bathrooms. You know what I mean, right? Like it's not stinky. It's more of like the chemical scent was very strong um, and overwhelming. It was absolutely not that it just smelled bad. It was just like the chemical scent was strong for me, uh, but I absolutely love it. I used it again in the sink here and it worked amazing. We had like some tooth toothpaste build up um, and some hard water around the little like drain hole. And I, I love it. It cleaned it right off. Um, super easy you know easily i just sprayed it on and then wiped it off like you saw and it worked really well but um another thing i always forget to clean though i do want to say this is these doors i am used to having just slick doors i have never in my life lived in a house that has had doors with details on it and i honestly i don't ever think to clean the doors uh I, it's just not something that comes to mind so <laughs> this is probably the first time I ever cleaned the doors. That's a little embarrassing admitting that, but I don't even remember cleaning them when we moved in here. And as you can see, they were quite dirty. So now I'm going to have to go around the house and not only clean my ceiling fans, but I'm going to have to go around and clean the doors as well. So anyway, if you guys are just a little bit, you know, side note there, don't forget to clean your doors, clean the grooves, the crevices, all that, because they are collecting dust. <laughs>
like I said, this, this spin brush, super easy to use. It worked good. I mean, I didn't really have to put any pressure on anything. Now, I don't know if that was the product or the brush. Maybe they worked together. Um, I will say it was nice not having to bend over, bend certain ways, you know, and break your back really um, when it comes to like scrubbing. But again, I just, I just do not see the value in in the price. Whether it was $35, $79, I've seen them all over the board and I just, I don't know, I just can't justify the price for it. I am just much more of a get on your hands and knees or like I said, the Clorox one that I've used in the years past or in previous videos you guys have seen it. Um, I, I much prefer it. So I do apologize also with this angle. <laughs> the way I had the camera, I thought that I had it down a little bit more, um, but it's right by the lights. And so it was really hard for me to see the screen. So I really apologize for this angle, but I'm just getting the bottoms uh, scrubbed with the brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse everything down with this hot of water that our faucet will go to. And it is pretty hot, so. We're gonna just get everything rinsed down and cleaned, or well, clean, rinsed, cleaned, you know what I mean. But anyway, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and get the shower curtain hung back up. I do wanna tell you another tip from Tammy. When it comes to your shower curtains, feel free, wash them, the cloth ones, you know what I mean? But try not to dry them, because I always notice whenever you dry them, that is when they shrink. If you're just washing them on, you know, I just wash our shower curtain on a normal setting, um, the same type of setting that I would wash our clothes on, and then instead of putting it in the dryer, I usually will take it out and just hang it right up, and then just let it hang dry right on the shower. Uh, that way, it prevents, you know, it's not wrinkled, it dries, it prevents the shrinkage that can happen. Um, but yeah, but then, like I said, it's all clean. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, finish up this bathroom and get this toilet clean and then we'll get everything kind of just put back together. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope it gave you a little bit of motivation to get your homes cleaned or maybe some ideas of places that you have been missing as well. So anyway, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up for me. And I hope you guys all stay happy, healthy, and safe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to